Just count and kick it. What's up, guys? Welcome to Cobra's In the Lab. Cobra Enters the Dojo Part 5. This one in this video will be going against, uh, going over hit confirming. So just to, let's just jump right into this. Uh, for this video, I'll be using uh, Robin's 212 string to uh, demonstrate this. So uh, 212 comes out like this. It's negative three on block, so it's safe. So I have the uh, set your AI. Go into the AI options. Set your block mode for your AI to random combo, and um, basically, there's two ways to end the string. Either I do 212 and let the whole thing come out, I'm safe and go to block. Um, the opponent can check me with a down one after this string. Uh, if I hit confirm it, which is what this video is about and how to hit confirm, I definitely recommend going into the lab and practicing it this way. So I can end it for down forward two, which is my combo starter, meter burned. Which, if you look at it, it's negative 30 on block. So. Uh, pretty negative and I don't want to have to sp I can spend the bar to make it safe but you don't uh, ideally you don't want to spend the bar if you don't have to if uh, you hit confirm it then you'll be getting the full use of it out so when you do spend a bar you'll get a full combo um, let's say he does block this I want to end in trait so I press 4 instead or you could even do down forward 4 so you get this one and get like a little mind game thing going so this isn't a Robin tutorial, This is um, it's kind of just going over the basics for hit confirming. So what I want to do is if my if I see my opponent block this part, I want to go into trait. If I, or uh, for any character, you want to go into something safe because chances are he'll block the last hit. Um, so to hit confirm this when it does hit, instead of hitting this, I hit my uh, combo starter. So. It takes a little bit of practice, but uh, ideally, uh, strings that have two or three hits, uh, they take a while to come out, so you have enough time to actually change your ender. And as you see, I don't have trait. Uh, right there was a mistake, but it all just takes practice and uh, reacting to the hit. Like that. So. Practice hit confirming, uh, just go into your AI options, set your block mode for your AI to random combo, so he'll block a random combo. Uh, pick a string on a character, for example, we're just using uh, Robin's 212 string. You could, uh, I would recommend doing this with Robin or Atrocitus since they got nice long strings that uh, you can practice hit confirming off of. Uh, for if you pick Atrocitus, go into your little throw up move, which is your back forward two. But if you play Atrocitus, that's uh, that's your safe uh, confirm and pressure. And if you meet a Bernie, you get your like plus or whatever. I don't really know. I don't play Atrocitus. But um, anyway, this is basically what hit confirming is. Hit confirming is you don't commit to your special move until you see one of your one of your attacks hit. So I saw that hit. I went for the uh, and then I went for it. So you there's it's kind of hard to explain, but there's enough time. There's enough time in any two hitting string. You also have uh, this string. Uh, strings that are quicker are actually harder to hit confirm, like this one. What you want to do is you want to put your directional inputs in. Um, get ready to put them in basically before the string is over and then you just hit the uh, the button for your special like your one two three or four um, depending on if it hits or not and I dropped it but um that's basically what you do and then just do this in the lab right there is a mess up. You, your reactions do have to be kind of quick, but once you hit the hit in the lab with this, you will be able to hit it every time. So this will help online if your opponent is blocking, and instead of instead of me going like this and spending the bar just to make it safe, the only time that I'm going to spend the bar to get a combo is when I actually see a hit. So it saves me from wasting meter. At least as Robin, but as other characters, it it can just make you safe as Atrocitus, for example. 
Uh, we'll run through some atrocities. Hit confirming as it's well. We're just gonna go over atrocities real quick. Real quick. Hit confirming. Uh, hit confirming the same with every character, but just to go over it again. So AI options. Set the block mode to always. A uh, move list. I'll put the moves on. These are basic uh, atrocities combo starters right here. It says forward. The string forward uh, two two three, which is an overhead. This is his basic combo starter, uh, and you can special cancel it. So you can special cancel it into Blood NATO, which is negative forty on block. So you get full punished, and you can only meter burn that if it hits. So if it if it doesn't hit, you're gonna get full combo punished if your opponent blocks a Blood NATO. Uh, luckily, Atrocis has Napalm Vomit, which is negative three on block, and you meter burning you're only negative one. So, um, the idea is, if you see your opponent block this, you go into Vomit. If you see any of this hit, you go into Blood NATO. Just to make your... this will always be safe. Damn, do I have him on random combo or always? I probably put him on always, didn't I? Oh, I did put him on always. Yeah, I want to set him to random combo. And you see, I just hit confirmed it. So, um, I seen that this string hit, and I instantly went into Blood NATO. I don't play atrocity, so you'll probably see a lot of drops. But this is basically what I do. You could let the whole string uh, plan out, I think. Uh, you're negative 15, so ideally you don't want to. You always want to cancel this full string into uh, vomit. A worst case scenario, you mess up your hit confirm and you go into vomit. And uh, you won't get punished, but you won't get uh, the whole combo. right there so basically it's just practice that's all it is just go, go in the lab set your opponent to a uh, random combo and just practice reacting um, it's easy it's easy to have uh, basically have blood nade already is what I do have your directional inputs ready at the end of the string already so as soon as you see that hit confirm you can go into you can go into it so I already have my directionals pressed, basically. I got them in the restand, and then you can go into some nasty shit. So, uh, just one more. I see, watch, I see. Okay, it hits. Hits, going to Blood NATO. So, something like that. It all dodged. Hits, Blood NATO. Okay. Uh, fucking on my vomit spit. He blocks it. Vomit spit. I seen a hit. I switched to blood nato. And so basically, you can react to it. I never really thought you could. I thought you always had to commit fully to your specials. Um, so this is something that I hope helps you guys. Uh, basically, that's what you want to do: is just go into AI and lab it out for every character. Every lot of every pretty much every character can hit confirm. Uh, characters that have like only one or two hits in their strings, it's gonna be way harder to uh, hit confirm. Whereas characters that have like two, you know, three or four hits, it's a lot easier to hit confirm. So I'd recommend uh, doing it with characters that have long combo strings that are special cancelable until you get it down pat, and then once you get it down, then go into um, characters that have way quicker strings. So hope you guys enjoy the video, and hope this helps. This is Cobra. And as always, take care of yourselves and each other.